Hello, welcome to Earn Value Management Basics. Very quick one. We're just going to go through Earn Value. I'll show you a few of the formulas. I'll try to ease your mind about Earn Value. So many people on the PMP exam get scared of Earn Value Management, but it's really a way of estimating where you are, how much you have left, how much work you've done, and how much money you've spent. And factoring all that in, we come up with three key metrics. These metrics are indicators of where you are on the project. Now, lots of project managers don't have experience in earned value because you hardly find earned value being used on projects, except in government space. And actually, in this book here, this book I wrote called Earned Value Management Basics, I go through the reasons why you need to use earned value if you're a government contractor or you're a governmental agency in the OMB, Office of Management and Budget Standard, um, part seven, they talk about why you need to use earned value. So I would like you to take a look at some of these formulas that I'm going to show you and just use good old common sense and ask yourself, does this make sense? Why do I need to use these formulas to know where I am? Can't I just look at actual versus planned? What is the value of using these formulas over the actual versus planned approach? Okay, so it's a really tiny little book, you know, just about 100 pages plus. But if you wanted to know more about earned value in a very easy to understand, low pressure, actually I tell a story in this book, and if you wanted to learn earned value in that way, well, this book is the book for you. I also, in this book, talk about earned value methods, how to qualify where you are in the project, how to know exactly where you are on a project. Because lots of people say, oh, earned value management is a little bit over the top. It's, it's overrated and it, it gives you so many errors. And, you know, because of this, we don't find earned value to be useful. But um, I think it's a really useful way um, of knowing where you are on projects. Um, I use this method, especially at Honeywell while I was there. And um, we just found great value out of using this to know where we were. There were lots of things we found out on projects that we wouldn't have if not for earned value management. Okay, So let's talk about some of these formulas and I'll give you a quick overview of this subject. So imagine you are working on a project. Now this is the line of time on the project. Right? Let's break it down into a few months here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six months on this project. Each month, we say we're going to spend about $20 to get $20 worth of work done. Okay? So let's say $20K every month for six months. Okay? So what this means is within one month, we intend getting $20,000 worth of work complete, okay? And that means across the whole project, if you're thinking about the project as a whole, right, from start to end, that means you're spending 120 k across the whole project. That 120 k we refer to that as the budget at completion, the BAC, budget at completion. Don't forget. Now, what do we refer to this $20,000 every month as? Well, each of these 20 Ks, we refer to those as the plan value, PV, for that month. When you think of plan value, you need to think about how much work you're going to get done within a particular amount of time. So what you're saying by this is, in month one, I'm going to get $20,000 worth of work done within that time frame of a month. Okay, Now, the same thing for all the others, but if you add all of these up, you get the BAC. So BAC is also known as your cumulative planned value. That's really what your BAC is. Okay. Now, the way earned value works, let's take a look at one month, for example. Let's just look at month one. So we know our PV is 20K. That 20K means within the time frame of one month, I'm going to get $20,000 worth of work done. But we also have two other metrics that need to be factored in. Those two other metrics are called AC, actual cost, and EV. So this is your plan to get $20,000 worth of work done in month one. 
But in reality, we know how projects are. Sometimes you have cost overruns for a variety of reasons. Maybe someone's sick, can't come to the office, and then you have to hire additional staff while that person who's sick is still getting paid. Sometimes we have weather-related delays. Sometimes we have fourth measure. All sorts of issues could arise to make you go over budget for a particular piece of work. So what earned value shows you at the end of the day is how much over you are. But in order to do that, we need to look for two other metrics, which I'm going to show you here. Okay, so actual cost is the actual cost of work that you spend for the work done. So let's say you got $20,000 worth of work done. However, because of one reason or the other, you ended up spending more. Let's say you spent twenty-five k, right? We call that the actual cost. So take a look closely at these metrics. PV, plan value, 20 k that's what you planned to get done within month one. And take a look at actual cost here. Actual cost is the actual cost of work performed. How much did you spend to get that work done? So in other words, you spent $25,000 to get $20,000 worth of work done. Don't we see that happening on projects all the time? Of course we do. Now the last metric is called earned value. Earned value refers to the budgeted cost of work performed. So if you got all of the work done in a particular month, let's say you got 100% of the work done, that means your earned value for this month is going to be $20,000. Now that's a relatively easy example. Let's take a look at month three. Let's say in month three, let's say you plan to get $20,000 worth of work done, right? However, because of schedule delays and problems experienced, you only got $15,000 worth of work performed, and let's say you spent $21,000 to get that work done. Do you see the different scenarios of how earned value, planned value, and actual cost could differ? You see, your PV is still 20 k for month three, 21 k for the actual cost, and 50 k for the earned value. So I'll show you these three metrics very quickly. There's three metrics, three major metrics, and those are, or four, I beg your pardon, SPI, CPI, SV, and CV. I always tell my students this. I tell them earned value is king. In fact, I like to think about 